So it's official. The New South Wales government has announced it's moving ahead with the mega cruise ship terminal in Yarra Bay. They are collaborating in closed door meetings with the cruise ship industry and business leaders. Save the Bay Coalition has vowed to stop the cruise ship terminal in beautiful Yarra Bay, which is near La Perouse. So once we get over the shock and the feelings of betrayal, one of the first questions that comes up is, what can I do? How can I take action to stop this long-term destruction for short-term big business gains? Let's get involved and make our views known. So what can you do? Follow our campaign and share your opinions and images on our Facebook page. Share our posts and videos through your social network platforms. Keep up the chatter and awareness. Everyone has skills and abilities that we need. Offer your expertise or advice and please contact the Save Yarra Bay Coalition. Display our sticker on your car, our banner on your residence or business premises and circulate our fact sheets and handouts. Write a letter or send an email to relevant ministers in the New South Wales Government. Gladys Berejiklian, Premier of New South Wales. Gladys is ultimately responsible. Dominic Perrette, Treasurer. Dominic needs to find the vast sums of money the proposal will cost to build. Andrew Constance, Minister for Transport and Roads. Andrew is responsible for the ports and the road network that provides access to them. Rob Stokes, Minister for Planning and Public Spaces. Rob needs to consider whether Sydney should have one of its best beaches ruined plus all the other planning issues this mega-proposal will present. Stuart Ayres, Minister for Jobs, Investment, Tourism and Western Sydney. He needs to consider whether the tourism and job opportunities the cruise ship terminal would deliver should stay in congested Sydney or be shared amongst the regions by upgrading cruise ship terminals in Port Kembla, Wollongong and Newcastle. Matthew Keane, Minister for Energy and Environment. Matthew needs to consider the impact of this mega-proposal on marine and land environments. Communicate with people and talk about the costs to the taxpayer, pollution created by cruise ships, the recreational assets the community stands to lose, the road congestion and safety issues, the species and habitats that will be killed, the Aboriginal history and heritage of Yarra Bay, and how the devastation outweighs the short-term big business plans. If we don't stop this and do something about it now, how will history remember us? What will future generations say about us? Let's get involved and save Yarra Bay.